safety is in Islam and the only religion is Islam in which accepts no man as God and that Allahikum illahu wahid that our ilah and our divinity is only one in Allah And as a result Allah gives us the command, run, run to the cave. If you stay amongst them because Qur'an is for every moment, it's not a storybook of the past, it's a book of revelation for now. So that when we read it, it's drawing and dressing us in this month to prepare us. That do you have eyes to see and do you see how they've set up a system in which a human will be called the God. You see it on their taweezes, they have an all-seeing eye. Why do they think that they have an eye that can see everything? And Prophet described, your God is not one-eyed because Allah is not a symbol of a one eye looking at everything. So they put their taweez, they put their symbols, so we see it upon this earth. And for Hajj, iqtirab is sa'at is to watch the clock will appear and the clock appeared. So we see the signs that Allah giving to everyone that these days events are coming and as a result be like a saw and calf in which they run from the oppression to a cave of rahmah. Our life is to find a cave in which Allah describes it's a cave of mercy. So in our book when we write, my life at this point right now apart from my spiritual practices, my physical life is to run towards a cave of safety. And in that cave Allah because we should be reading Surat Al-Kahf and describes for us we will dress you with a mercy and settle your affairs. This is immense. In a busy world people are saying, Shaykh I don't in emails, I don't have time for all these things means they're trying to handle their affairs and then to understand their religion. Allah's promise at the beginning of Surat Al-Kahf to the Ashab Al-Kahf was that Come to Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. The cave of mercy and that we'll settle your affairs. And that's why this whole system comes to teach them what is Allah's mercy because that was the secret of, A'uzu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem before people can talk of all the knowledges they know from Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim on. First we have to understand the first gate, if we didn't get through the gate we're not even in the room. So the first gate is, A'uzu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, how am I going to seek refuge in Allah from the accursed devil? is then I have to be with those whom are already in Allah's mercy. From Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum that to obey Allah, obey the Messenger and obey those in authority. That becomes the safety that Allah is describing for this cave. So that I have to keep their company. And we described before the cave is symbolic of a heart, the cave of rahmah in which Allah wants us to run to is the cave of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad in which the believers 
run in that direction. Our life is how to enter that cave. So we want to be from Ashab al-Kahf, we want to accompany the Ashab al-Kahf. So then they recapped and described, well we don't have to think, oh we're all high stations. Many people are humble enough to recognize, no they're actually very bad, they do a lot of bad things. So we say, okay we want to be at least like the dog of Ashab al-Kahf. Because thinking right away that we are capable of being the companions of the cave in which Allah describes that He sealed their ears means their ears are only for Allah How can somebody have sealed ears when they listen to everything, they listen to everyone and as a result Allah gives isharat and guidance that this companions of the cave they had a certain gift Allah gave to them that we sealed their ears and put them into their seclusion, into their muraqabah and tafakkur. So the importance of ears to enter a state of serenity because now everybody's ears are for everything. For every horrible music they hear, for every sound and guidance they hear, you watch social media you become nervous after half, a, half an hour because all of them are telling you doom and gloom but run off this cliff, run off that cliff, run into a car, uh, take these shots, every kind of craziness. Why? Because they're all vying for the ear. But Allah gives to us, oh if you want to be like a Sahab al-Kahf and you see that men are coming out that are going to call themselves ilah, run. Because when they come out such a person and such characteristics that are coming when they think they're going to be ilah, they're going to kill everyone that doesn't accept their ilahiyat, right? Because you have to show complete authority, complete dominion over the earth. Otherwise how can a person come say they're God but only half the people believe in front of them? That's why the danger is they come to show an extreme authority. So then Allah gives to us then move in that understanding. Be like the dog, be humble that, Ya Rabbi have many sins. So the dog gives me an opportunity to be loyal, be consistent, characteristic of a dog is very loyal to the owner. And that they threw stones at the dog to test, is this dog going to eat them when they start their seclusion? And the same in tariqah, why Allah tests the students to see if they're going to be loyal to the shaykh. Because if they become agitated and aggravated and they become violent, aggressive and difficult, that's not somebody you want in your cave and Allah sends them away. As a result of sending them away they start to backbite and talk and say very bad things. That's exactly the reason that dog was kicked out. So means then the characteristic that Allah is looking for is then to be soft, be humble, know that our life is going to be tested. And then look to Ashab al-Kahf to understand their characteristics and that the only way that they can establish the serenity and the peace that they need to go into their tafakkur was what Allah gave was the key, we sealed their ears. And that's why the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is a nation that should be Samina wa ta'ana, from ata to obey. But now if you say ata to people, so we don't obey anybody but Allah. That's convenient considering they say there's two types of people. One in which talk to Allah is healthy, the other in which Allah talks to them they're insane. So no training and they're all posting that God talks to them, they're clearly insane. Means then the secret of ata and obedience that they say is only for Allah which we say is a lie. 
is from Atiullah, Atiya Rasul wa Ulul Amri Minkum. Because this lays, the tariqah lays, Naqshbandi Tal'aliya, we don't know about other tariqahs if they know these knowledges. But this tariqah, this way, this, this from this heart of these guides are teaching that we are a people whom samina wa ta'ana. My life is to submit my ears, don't shoot so high that you only submit to Allah. This is hypocrisy and this is the devil's words. That my life is to find ulul amri minkum. And that's why when you read then now Surat Al-Kahf the beginning verses you'll understand the word Rabb and they play with the transla- translation and, and, and how they… it's convenient. So we clearly identified the translation is authority and they were to seek the authority of the heavens and the earth. Our life is to seek the authority of the heavens and the earth because Allah makes it clear, those whom are authorized from the heavens they have clear dominion over the authority of earth. If their, if their hand already reaches into the heavens then no doubt they reach onto the earth, the earth is the dirty part, the heavens is the heart to get your hand into. And that's why the word Rabb is more clearly understood when we say the authority. So they were to run to the authorities of the heavens and earth, leave the authority that they had that all of a sudden decide he's going to be ilah because now that authority became corrupted. So then we leave the corruption of the earth when they start to follow somebody who's going to call themselves God, anything they say and do is going to be to your submit or to your death. Because we said if their godly person, Allah comes out, he's not accepting that you don't accept. So it's either accept or die. So then Allah gives to the believers, run to the cave, understand the authority our life is to reach to ulul amr and as a result of being with the men of authority means they are Rabbaniyoon, they learn the book, they taught the book because they even tell you the book is Sayyidina Muhammad Kitabullah is Prophet the walking holy Qur'an. If you want to know Qur'an you have to know Sayyidina Muhammad and you have to love Sayyidina Muhammad If you don't love Prophet and you don't know Prophet you have nothing to do with the Qur'an. The two are inseparable, that's its secret. So then Allah gives to us that be with his ulul am. And as a result of being with them, this is now the characteristics of Ashab al-Kahf that our life was to seal our ears. We passed the dog stage, we came through the door of humility and said, we'll be like a dog, we're going to come, we're going to be loyal. And at all times we're going to be tested, control anger, control bad actions, control your words. You don't like something, don't say anything. Even in food, if you don't like food, you don't have permission to start attacking the food, you're to remain silent. Then imagine in the adab of accompanying the guides, you don't like something, remain silent. When they pass dog stage, they start to look to Ashab al Kaf. And Allah gives the key, their ears are sealed. Means what? They hear what Allah wants, Samina wa ta'ana because these are Muhammadan haqqaiqs. The Ashab al Kaf is a reality and the seven wazirs of Sayyidina Mahdi or its reality. They were merely a reflection 
the seven sleepers and the one authorized guard is Sayyidina Mahdi with seven wazirs and these are the original Muhammadiyun reality. Shamat al-Faddani Abdul Rafu Yamani Yusuf al-Siddiq, Lisan al-Mutaqalimin Ali Tayyad Maruf bin Mulhan Burhan Karam Naqawth Al-Anam Sahib wa Waqsid Muhammad al-Mahdi Al-Salam Shamat al-Faddani Abdul Rafu Yamani Yusuf al-Siddiq, Imam Al-Arifin, Lisan al-Mutaqalimin Ali Tayyad Maruf bin Mulhan Burhan Karam Naqawth Al-Anam Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi Al-Salam. So means these are the seven real have eternally been in this position and Sayyidina Mahdi Salam is the Lion of Allah that guards, they guard the cave of Sayyidina Muhammad And these are the positions of their sainthood. At any moment there's on earth one representing these positions. Means our life is to enter into that cave, to be dressed by their reality and blessed by their reality. Because everything from below Prophet was a placeholder. The real is from the Muhammadan reality, every Prophet was a placeholder for a position in the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So its true form, its true reality is the Muhammadan reality. There are 12 Ahlul Bayt and that's why there are 12 tribes. The 12 tribes of Bani Israel they inherit from these 12 streams because the real is the Muhammadun Rasulullah so in Malakut this is the real fountain, everything Muhammadiyun is the real fountain. As it flows to dunya it becomes an imitated understanding upon this earth because the Risalat is one, there's only but Muhammadun Rasulullah if that is understood. So it means our life is to gain access into the heart of Prophet to attain this mercy in which we have good character and we take the example that Prophet brought for us, is to condition ourselves to hear and to obey in a life that is fighting for the hearing of people. If you give somebody advice you see they don't listen. If you give somebody isharat you see they don't listen. If you tell people, take this, take that, you see they don't listen. So means then the ears are lost. And this is 99.999% of people, their ears have been lost. As a result it becomes impossible to reach towards these realities. And this is why the great struggle and the great difficulty. Everything that shaitan is doing is purposeful, it's not random. So TikTok and social medias are… their algorithm is purposeful for shaitan to create panic, to create anxiety to create a confusion in the guidance system of mankind because they can't understand who they're supposed to be listening to and what information is correct. And that's why then the true guidance not coming from that, the true guidance is going to be coming from connecting your heart, that those are entertainment. True guidance is when we connect our heart and we listen to the guides of that reality so that we begin to live a life in which I clean my ears and seal off my ears. That I watch it for an entertainment purpose social media but it's not my guidance and my guidance is in my connection.
to Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul because how am I going to follow what Allah wants for me when I don't even know myself? How am I going to understand what Prophet wants for me when I don't know myself? So then I accompanied the Ulul Amr because I can hear them, I can see them and I can email them. Can you call them? No way. They're not taking phone calls, these are ridiculous emails that we want to call and call. There were these thousands of calls coming in, this like, like uh, everything is free for people and they have nothing to do but take a thousand phone calls. They need help just to answer emails. But the email is the link towards their presence, not anyone else, not making contact with other people. Is email help me at nurmuhammad.com. But whatever guide you're following you have to have a communication and as a result when we follow the guidance, follow the prescriptions, make contact, build the relationship, as a result we can enter into the reality of these ulul amr by following their teachings, by following their guidance and learning the process of loyalty. As we learn the process of loyalty then the guidance and testing for the ears begins. The my ears for guidance is only to that teaching and building the connection, building the tafakkur, the meditation, the contemplation so that my heart connection can take place and that my heart locks onto that connection. And as a result the subtlety of my heart picks up all of the energies that are coming, all the subtlety of my heart that comes becomes like a, like a violin that the shaykh can play the strings because the heart becomes so subtle and the connection so strong that they hearing and feeling the vibrations, the guidance and the sharat and what to do, what not to do and how to do. All of these realities they come from the heart of insan if they discipline their ears. If there's no discipline for the ears then what happens becomes shaitan uh, takes the ear of that person as a microphone. That's why we don't listen to comments. It's not encouraged to listen to anyone's complaints. Why? Because then <clears throat> it's like shaitan taking your ear. So let me, oh he opened up his ears now, let me, let me start now complaining about everything. And since 99% of people are doing corrupt things, imagine then 99.9% .9 of people trying to take your ear and fill it with garbage and garbage information, non-verified information, ghaybat, backbiting, slandering. But the way was what? Samina wa atana. We heard and we obeyed the heavens, what Allah wanted for us, what Prophet wanted for us which comes through the ulul am, what they say, what they teach, that's it, that's my guidance. Not the guy I think to the left he's pious, not the guy to the right I think he's pious, means now you're giving your ear to everyone and again that becomes corrupt and fasiq. So means Ashab al-Kaf and the way of Ashab al-Kaf is a very deep reality that these were people whom when they submit the sun moves them left and right. Each year we say that but one day somebody will understand and say, oh, I understand what you're talking about because this way is called Shams al-Arifeen. Prophet is a fire, shamsi wal duha, the shams, this is a, this is Prophet Wasallam's description by Allah The Prophet Wasallam is shamsi wal duha. What's the next one? Layli wal nahari wal layl, nahar they say is day, nahar actually doesn't mean day. It means fire, means Prophet is the Divinely fire. 
and with all its splendor because Allah Zawajalla Shariq. So, no, no, I thought the fire is Allah Zawajalla, but Allah has no partnership, no image, no shaykh. You can't make an association and say, oh, Allah's like this, Allah's like that. No, at these higher levels, this is no, no longer kindergarten, this is the way of marifah. Allah, you have no way to understand. So, don't even go there with your mind. What Allah wants us is try to understand Prophet because he's from creation, you're from creation. So means the sun is the symbol of light and it gives out a light because it has a fire. Allah is the power of that fire and everything is in need of sunshine, sunlight and the energy emanating from the sun so that we are in need of Prophet energy, in need of the spiritual nazar, the physical nazar, everyone needs sunshine. This is the physical understanding of nazar, right? Because we understand we're not ignorant people so we say, the nazar of Prophet Allah made all creation to need the nazar of Prophet because if you go into a cave and you live there for a year, two years with no sunlight, you're going to die. You come out pale and white because your body takes in no nutrition, your organs begin to fail, everything fail without access to sunlight. That's an example for nazar that we're in need of the gaze of that reality because the sun is only the symbol of the light. If Allah on this physical earth making the sun a physical matter to nourish and energize all of the creation upon this earth, imagine the reality of Prophet which is much more glorious than that sun, that everything grows by His beatific lights, everything is nourished by His beatific lights Everything is rejuvenated and energized by the beatific lights of Sayyidina Muhammad Shamsi wal duha by the sun in all its splendor. This is for the entire created universe just try to begin to understand the earth. This becomes the immense importance of this reality that their lives of turning left and right by the movement of the sun is a symbol that their life and their movement is by the direction of Sayyidina Muhammad So means they understood wa ulul amri minkum and the ulul am trained them, raised them to become rushd. So this word rushd means to be ripened because rushd is in reference to the sun that they received enough light and guidance from the sun they are rushd, they are ripened. And this is what they wanted to achieve when they entered the cave, we want to achieve the mercy and that mercy set their affairs to be straight. And as a result their ears were sealed that they heard nothing from dunya anymore. And they entered into their state of annihilation and fana in which their movement not by any human, they turn left and they turn right by the power of the sun. Nullahs described this was ajeeb, this was immense. But this on a spiritual reality is then immensely important that the guides they, they followed the ulul am, they continue to follow the ulul am and as a result they are in the oceans of Atiya Rasul And then Prophet moves their heart left and right, Prophet moves their tongue left and right and moves every qadam and movement left and right it means every movement in the way is by the izzat and might of Prophet from Allah Atiullah 
Because who's listening to Allah in perfection? Sayyidina Muhammad Every order that comes, every amri wal irada, every command and every will of Allah emanates from the holy heart of Yaseen And as a result the command from Prophet comes out and the ulul am are moving left and right. If they reach to the hand of these ulul am that represent Sayyidina Muhammad this is what Allah describes, you are now rightly guided. Whom are rightly guided are guided. Whom Allah did not guide there is no guidance for them and no waliun murshidun. This is in Surat al kahf at the beginning. So means if Allah didn't direct you to the hand of this ulul am then Allah describes in Surat al kahf those whom Allah did not guide there is no guidance and there's no waliun murshidun assigned to them. A wali means from awliyaullah and murshid means whom are authorized to guide. If they pretend to be murshid and they're not from wilayat is not from the guidance of Allah And if they are awliya but they're not authorized to be murshid then that's something different. You can meet somebody who is of a status of awliya but they talk is all over the place you'll be confused, that's not a guide. They say things that don't make sense left and right. So this specific category is related to Ashab al-Kahf and the way into the heart of Prophet to meet the ulul am and that they are from waliun murshidun. And their teaching is how to get towards the oceans of guidance, how to enter into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And this just at the beginning of Surat Al-Kahf in the first 12 or 13 verses or 14 verses inshaAllah that please read Surat Al-Kahf to understand the immensity of the, the dress of this holy month and the realities and the immensity of the realities of guidance into the oceans of reality inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmat Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.